Hello FX Warriors, this is Dale Pinkert with ForexStopHunters.com. Only risk capital should be used in speculative investments. Past performance is not indicative of future results, so make sure that it's disposable, that you can lose it because emotional capital is an effective trading capital. I'd like to look forward to this week ahead. We had a very strong week in the dollar mainly exemplified by the weakness in Euro USD and here you have the Dixie contract the spot Dixie contract right now you're looking at the March contract and the hourly chart on the dollar so you could see the dramatic rally that we had last week a lot on Euro fears again Spain coming up Italy coming up Euro being uh, the heaviest weighting in this index so I'm looking for some initial follow through to the upside in the dollar although as you notice here momentum is beginning to wane there are momentum divergences and at this new high very likely that new highs on the hourly will stay beneath the 70 range on the RSI which is something that I teach that your ideal shorting opportunities with momentum divergence happen once momentum wanes and the best the market could do on the RSI is 70 above it shows still too much momentum to attempt to fade it and top pick it so I'm looking for perhaps a, a bit more follow through early next week and then a correction to ensue uh, part of that rationale is I still believe that there still may be some upside for a few weeks longer in stock indexes and I don't think that they could progress with an exploding dollar with a stable dollar to slightly rising dollar and a lower dollar if we get another correction from here I think can add some jet fuel to that blow off uh, that is underway in the S&P's now we brought in our time frame bring in our telescope and look towards the daily chart of the Dixie as you can see we're getting ready to challenge the highs that we had going back to late November before the dollar bottomed a little bit of a pullback in here looked like it was some type of ABC uh, the stop hunt under this low was successful a week ago last Friday and now we're heading back up to the top of the range and as you can see there is a bit of divergence developing and the potential for the market to at least correct back down to the midpoint bully band I believe exists you can't completely rule out that there may not be one more real hard break in the dollar uh, to take out some of the dollar bulls under this handle the low 79s in the front month so there still is I'm open to the possibility that we could still trade down one more time in the dollar index going into the end of January that can add a lot of jet fuel uh, to the S&P's which didn't cave like most commodity markets and get some type of pretty good rebounds in commodities uh, gold copper oil and so forth as the dollar weekends although I don't believe that we will see these November lows again so let's even go out a little longer term with our telescope and take a look at the weekly chart here on the Dixie and I believe if you're an FX trader you need to follow the dollar index contract it would be analogous to trading IBM and not following the Dow it's important to know especially for your trade selections on the individual pairs which ones are demonstrating the most relative strength and which ones are demonstrating the most relative weakness so as you can see we've sliced through the mid bully band point we're challenging these highs if we have a continuation move next week uh, with this type of strength that we thought saw last week then we most likely can challenge the 83 level although I, I still lean towards some type of pullback in here on the weekly chart let's get very long term as we now go to the monthly chart of the dollar index front month spot see January has started off with a bang 
I do believe that eventually we're going to take out these highs from last June. That was 88.80. And then you go back to 09 in March, and we were at 88.40. 8870 so it's my view that on the intermediate term the dollar is going to head up squeeze every last dollar bear out of their positions as we clean out buy stops above these two highs on a major stop hunt and possibly head up to the 92 if you want to get real bullish a dollar then you just take the measurement of this formation and consider a breakout over 86 and tack it on if you're an Elliotitian, you could look for equality from this move, from this point, and that's just going to take you uh, possibly to the 92 area. So there's plenty of room left on this dollar trade to the upside, although I do uh, have a pause and think that we could pull back just to shake out the 79 bulls in the Dixie and set up one more very good buying opportunity in the dollar. So good luck, good hunting this week. This is Dale Pinker with ForexStopHunters.com signing off.